Hello guys and welcome to my tropical fish tank update. Today we have introduced two new additions to the tank and they are two African clawed frogs. They're very small. At the moment they're very adventurous. They keep swimming along the top as if they're wanting to escape. And because it's the first time we're having frogs in our tank for a few months, we've had to do this. We've put tape along the top here and tape along the top here. Because as you know, they like albino frogs. They're escape artists. And it's a good job I did do this before I put them in because already one went up by the filter, um, by the thermometer. See the top of the thermometer? It was just hanging there. So it's a very good job that I have done that. Also, the other week I have introduced four small baby barbs, two golden and two tigers. If I didn't mention that in the last video, well, this is why I'm saying it now. So, altogether I have eight tiger barbs. As you can see, they're all swimming, chasing each other. I have noticed today that one of the tiger barbs looks a bit sore. Uh, I think it's just getting a bit nipped on, which is this tiger barb here, can you see? The red. So I'm going to keep a close eye on that tiger barb. So, yeah, and I've only realised as well the other day that tiger barbs that bow down to each other to show submission, which is very interesting to watch. The sino is doing really well. Uh, a lot more confident now. Every time it's feeding time, it comes out and does a sweep. And I'll show you exactly where it is now. There it is. It's grown a lot since we had it. So the sino and the plaque, which is what I call a catfish, which is down here, do seem to argue and nip each other, fighting for space, because they both want to hide under these logs here. I keep putting my... Um, gravel well you know i call sand um to try and cover the bottom bits of these wooden logs but as you know as you can see they like to dig it out so they can go under so yes um also i've introduced a new background past few times i've been using plain backgrounds like a plain black or a plain blue for it might make it look a bit more i don't know stylish i suppose but no, it just didn't seem to work. So today I have brought an actual uh, patterned one, which I think looks really well. So you can see my top here. It looks really well, blends in quite nicely. Um, my tank is not 100% clean. Well, tanks are never 100% clean, but I haven't cleaned it for two and a half weeks now, three weeks. So it's due for a clean. As you can see, the waste is starting to build up. I still need to go back over the glass with my razor blade. And that's about it. I need to get some more cat, uh, cat food, fish food. Uh, probably change, clean out the filters in the weekend, in a few days. Just do a little clean up. But overall, the fish are doing really well, apart from that one tiger barb that's chasing each other and going crazy. I'm going to keep a close eye on my, uh, my African clawed frogs now. I know because when we had an albino frog when we first introduced it into the tank we very rarely saw it and it didn't eat for a few days so we we're expecting the same thing with these two African clawed frogs. I haven't got them with me now, they're actually in the kitchen but I also brought a packet of live blood worms which I'll drop into the tank later so that'll be a nice treat for the fish. Apart from that, no deaths, nothing really, doing really well. It's just keeping a close eye on the two new additions now. And hopefully they, um, you know, they're all right with the new tank. So, yes. So thank you for watching. I'll do an update next month when the cleans tank, oh, cleans tank, when the tank's clean. And uh, probably introduce some more plants and change some plants around and things like that. So thank you for watching and take care.